Okay, now comes the moment of truth. We are now going to glue the two body tubes together with the coupler. These are both 18 inch tubes. So double them up, you get 36 inches. So now, at the end of this stage, we're gonna have a yard long rocket, which is pretty cool. So the first step they call for is marking the four inch mark on this eight inch coupler. So let's take the ruler up to it and mark down the four inch mark. Now one thing to note, because of this, if you'll, you'll notice here, the rail button is approximately four and a half inches. So that'll be a good stop, but the glue is actually another half inch up or so. So this is gonna pretty much bottom out on the glue joint at the four inch mark. So that's kind of a little built in measuring guide for you. So I'm gonna whip up some 30 minute epoxy and then I'm gonna run the glue on the inside of the tube. That way when I push the coupler in, it's gonna push the, the glue downward instead of up and out. If I were to put the glue on this, as I push it, it's gonna ooze out and make a mess of the body. So I'm gonna apply the glue on the inside of the tube. So let me go mix up this 30 minute epoxy and we'll get right back to it. Before I handle that coupler, I want to clean my fingers off of any excess epoxy. I don't want to risk spreading that onto the tubes. Okay, here's our four inch mark, but like I said, I have a feeling we're gonna bottom out near that spot. twist as we go to help spread the glue. Okay. Okay. Just hit our four inch mark. And we'll do the same thing to this tube.
just to make things easier when I get to where I'm filling in these spirals, I'm just going to line the spirals up. There we can, just to make it a little more uniform. Okay, and that joint will be filled in with filler and sanded with the primer and everything. So you won't even notice the joint. I do see some little runs and drops down in there, so I'm gonna reach down and try to clean some of that, those runs up. Okay, now the hard part, just having the patience to let it dry. So we'll let it sit overnight and uh, check on it first thing in the morning. 